my first impression of the K-Suite line. It's interesting because as a kid, everyone had a sweet ride. And it was like the first symbol you bought that you could like use for two purposes. Like myself, I was playing in church on Sundays and then I'd be up to like 4 a.m. on Saturday night playing in bars and clubs at 15 or 16 so I could be in a hardcore band with that symbol. But my first impression of these is much the way that I felt about that symbol back in the day was it was just, it could do whatever I wanted it to. And it's so cool now that there's a full set of those in K's in every size that I want. Um, it's just inspiring. The unlaced bells are super cool and, and add a really neat wash to the cymbals, but for me what I like is the cymbals feel buttery. If I barely touch it, it'll respond to it, and I love that if I bang on it, it'll respond to what I'm doing. To me, with cymbals, what's the most important is musicality. It's the most musical part of your drum set. Like, It's the most important um, overarching musical thing that you have as a drummer because, let's face it, you're hitting things with wood. The musicality of them is what really struck me. K-Suite hi-hats to me, other than the 23-inch ride, are the star of the line. I love the 16s are my favorite Zojin hi-hats right now. Um, my favorite. K-Suite crashes to me are super interesting. You know, they go from a 16 to a 20, and each one has a, a varying personality. Like, I'm not a small cymbal guy, but down to the 16s, really cool little explosion of a cymbal. It sounds like a large, dark, dirty splash. Um, all the way up to the 20, which is, you could ride on. And again, that speaks to the versatility of the K-Suite line of cymbals, is that they're, you can do whatever you want with them. You could use the 16s as hi-hats if you wanted. You know what I mean? Like, you could turn it upside down and put it on top of a china. To me, like, that's what I look for in cymbals, is a, is a musical instrument that I can do whatever I want with. And this, the crashes are the best example of that. Here, I stand on the edge of the ledges I've made Looking for a steady hand Here, I stand in the land for the rocks and the valleys Try to be a better man oh, I think the versatility is important for symbol for different reasons and I think different people would have different answers, obviously. But for me, it's important because I like to play a bunch of different kind of, kinds of music. For me, I want to be able to play like an all-country song or, or have a jazz drummer come into my studio and, and be able to play jazz. And I don't want to have to have 11,000 cymbals to accompany all the needs and the uses that I want to cover. So this line, particularly more than anything from Zojin, is the one to me that really says, uh, you know, I'm here and I can do whatever you want me to do. And I think that it's a great thing for younger musicians too. It's a necessary piece of growing as a musician is, is versatility. So when you have a set of symbols, it's versatile too. I think that that's really cool.